Assalamu alaikum and good morning. I am your science teacher Aruj Mafar and we are studying unit number 5 that is the life cycle of a plant. At the end of this lecture you will be able to learn about different types of vegetables and their examples. Humans and animals eat many different kinds of vegetables. We eat some vegetables raw while the others taste better when they are cooked. Some vegetables are parts of plants while some vegetables are made up of whole plant. Here we have the examples of some vegetables. Some vegetables grow in the form of buds. They are called leaf buds. Almost the whole plant is made up of a bud that contains many leaves. Cabbage and lettuce are the examples of leaf buds. Spinach and mustard are leaf vegetables that is their leaves are eaten in the form of vegetables. Carrot, radishes and turnips are roots and they are also utilized as vegetables. Some stems are also used as vegetables. Stems can be hollow or solid, round, rough or smooth. Stems are also called leaf stalks. Celery and sugarcane are the examples of stems that are used as vegetables. Coming towards the very interesting form of vegetables that is tubers. These are the stems that grow underground. Potato, ginger and sweet potatoes are tubers. Some vegetables are birds that grow in the form of flowers. Cauliflowers and broccoli are flower birds. White portion of the cauliflower is a vegetable while it is surrounded by the green leaves. Now it is very interesting to know that some fruits are also utilized as vegetables. Tomato and chili are fruits that are used as vegetables. Broad beans and peas are the seeds that grow in pods and used as vegetables. Some plants grow underground parts called bulbs. Onion is a bulb and is utilized as vegetable. Coming towards the last example that is seedlings. Young plants grow from seeds are called seedlings. Cress and mustard are seedlings. These plants are eaten in their very young form as a vegetable. For your home assignment, you have to write down the answer of this question. What are underground stems called? Give examples. Send your home assignments on this email ID. In case of any questions, you can always contact me at this email ID. This is the end of today's lecture. Till next time, Allah Hafiz.